Good everyone, this is Damres Photography and today I'm going to be teaching you some steps in which you could use to sharpen your image that is to give you better sharper images, better quality give you better quality of images, yeah? So, if you don't subscribe to this tutorial if you've not liked, if you've not shared please don't forget to subscribe like, please, serious, please just click on the subscribe button right now yeah, that's the only way you can help me out guys so click on the subscribe button okay, so on to the tutorial so the first thing I do is I make sure that is on my Lightroom the settings I have is if we go to around here we go to um go to edit and go to preferences go to edit then go to preferences you can see around there external editing you get external editing i make sure file format here it's going to be tif instead of um instead of psd i make sure it exports in tif format like in t format and then i also make sure my beat component that is my beat depth is 16 bits instead of um what they call instead of um um 8 bits i make sure it's on 6 bits 16 bits and also i make sure my resolution is 3 or is 300 by doing that you make sure that's your 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 setting you're making sure photoshop exports your image in as high as possible quality you get so then i click on ok so i just go after i've done that i've uploaded and um, what they call it, i've done all the um corrections i want to make using a lightroom i'll right click on the image i want to export and then i'll go to edit in and i'll make sure i click on open a smart object in photoshop by clicking on as op open a smart object in photoshop your image will load in photoshop as a smart object you get so the reason why we uh, I, i'm loading this image in photoshop as a smart object it's so that when i want to um when i want to um crop my image i'll be able to crop it as a smart object without reducing the quality of the image so as you can see photoshop exported this image as a 300 um or what as a 300 resolution image you get so i could just crop my image i'll just crop my, my image since it's already a smart object i'll just crop my image right now yeah like this crop around here okay i click on okay so that's the first step you do to make sure your image is uh, to make sure your finished image is a is a very very sharp image you get is a quality image to enhance the quality of the image after exporting that's what that's the first step uh, the next step is this now let me go to an image i've already edited okay so on this image now I've probed my image, I've done the background cleanup, I've done the frequent separation, I've done the color grading, you get. So right now, the next thing is, I want to sharpen my image more. So for me to sharpen my image more, I'm going to, on this smart object, I'm mean, on this um, layer I have here, I'll just go to filter, and then I'll go to order, I'll go to high pass. Like I said, this is the second step for me to export my image to make sure my image is sharp as much as possible for exporting so now i have a radius of 1.5 truthfully i could increase my radius to around four i make for me i make sure it's no more than 1.5 to 2 but depending on how blurry your image is you could decide to just increase your image let's say if you decide to increase your image to four and then click on ok and then you change the blend mode to let's say so me i like soft light you could change your blend mode to linear light depending on you linear light or vivid light but i like soft light so let's zoom in on this image and you see what what has happened so as you can see before after before after you see you've made your image sharper but the reason why i don't like going too much like let's say as much as four the reason why i don't like going um too much is because this brings back a lot of details even after you've done frequent separation it brings back it brings in quite a lot of details to the skin again so there is that's why i don't like going too much so for me i make sure i'm around 1.5 to 2 for the radius of the eye pass so i'll go back and then i'll click apply my eye pass i'll apply my eye pass but I'm applying an eye pass of let's just say 1.5. Now I'll click on OK. Now I change my blend mode to soft light. So as you can see, before, after, before, 
after you see i've sharpened my image and still have, i did not really affect the the the, um, the the frequent separation i did previously so that's about sharpening and that's about that's the second step of sharpening your image the last part is through the export so the way you export your image also determines how more how um the the, the 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 sharpness of the image after the final expo, um, ex, 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 exporting so the last step is going to file and going to export export as so on this export as page now you're making sure the quality of your image is at the highest make sure the image of your quality is at the highest for exporting and then also on this resample on this resample on this resample resample you change you change it to by cubic sharper instead of by cubic automatic you change it to by cubic sharper so let's wait for that so you just change it to by cubic sharper and then you click on export just click on export after that so this are steps for you to make sure while exporting your images they come out as sharp as possible so if you enjoy this tutorial if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to like please don't forget to share and i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day guys